Hey guys. So I'm 36 weeks pregnant today um, as I'm filming this. Last week at my 35 week appointment, um, the nurse midwife was able to confirm by ultrasound that baby is in a breech position. Uh, she's not head down yet. And at this point, it's like I'll be full term next week. So it's getting pretty much to the point where we need to deal with that and it becomes an issue. Um, if she can't be head down by the time we're ready to go into labor, then um, they'd have to do a C-section because it's just too risky for the hospital and for the baby and everyone to um, to try to do a vaginal breech birth. So, um, first of all, she's kind of been going back and forth between breech and transverse. Um, breech means head up. There's a couple different kinds of it, I guess. I'm not sure which one we are, but head up as opposed to head down. And then transverse is sideways, sort of a sideline position. And she's been pretty much in that position for like this whole time since the second trimester, really. She's had her head over on my left side and her feet over on my right side. And so I felt, you know, those kicks and stuff in that, those places. And uh, she's gotten pretty comfortable there. And so we're trying to do all this stuff to flip her around. So things have been getting less roomy uh, in my uterus. And um, so we've been trying these exercises from spinningbabies.com. Um, one of them involves this leaning off a couch um, and getting uncomfortably close to the camera. Uh, we have, like I said, been doing it for about a week. Basically all these turning upside down and leaning on ironing boards and stuff. And basically the point is to try to uh, make some extra room in there for, in, like in my pelvis area, for her to turn around on her own. And I feel like, it might just be wishful feel, uh, thinking, but I feel like she's had a little bit more movement and sort of been wiggling around into different positions more. Um, but she has not yet, as far as I can tell, because it's hard to tell, uh, she has not gone down a head down on her own yet. <sighs> so we're going in on Tuesday. That's tomorrow as I'm filming this the day before. Um, we're going in for what's called an ECV or external cephalic version. Um, search that on YouTube and you'll see what it is, but basically they use their hands on the outside of your tummy to actually physically move her around. Um, it's only about like 50% effective, they say. So if it works, then fantastic. And we can still go for vaginal birth and everything could be great. That's like best case scenario. Second best case scenario, I guess, is that it doesn't work, that 50% of it doesn't work. Um, and then they would have to schedule me for a C-section, um, which, you know, is not ideal, I guess, um, but not the worst thing in the world. Um, the worst case scenarios all involve things like emergency C-sections or emergency inductions and having the baby come home tomorrow. So I'm not ready for that and I hope that's not going to happen. It's the um, very rare cases where things get complicated. But um, yeah, so we're hoping and praying for the best and hoping that it, even if these uh, spinning babies exercises haven't actually turned her, they will at least help her be ready to turn. Um, so, yeah, uh, I will let you know how that goes. So we're on our way to the hospital. I voted this morning. Went to the polls first thing at 7, so just in case everything goes wrong and I spend the rest of the day at the hospital, at least I voted. Um, we're on our way in for the ECV. Um, can't really tell what position she's in today. I, I think I can feel her head, though, up sort of to the right, so... Um, we will find out when we get there. They're not going to let us film inside for HIPAA reasons, but I will give you an update when uh, everything is done one way or the other. <sighs> so it didn't work. She was really stubborn. Um, the whole experience was kind of long and mostly boring, to be honest. They strapped me up to monitors for like half an hour, 45 minutes beforehand. They had to put in... Um, an IV, which I've never had an IV before. I didn't expect it to hurt, but it kind of did. It was like stinging constantly, um, which whatever. It was just sort of a lot of precautionary stuff because um, I had to like sign a consent for a C-section in case anything went terribly wrong. Um, they would have had to do an emergency C-section. It was like the worst case scenario. 
But it didn't come to that. Fortunately, we're, we're all good. I'm home. Um, sorry about the lighting. I just wanted to relax in my rocker for a while. Um, they came in. There were two OBs. Um, a man and a woman. She had, like, long nails, which kind of scratched, which was annoying. Um, but they both were pushing. I, I really kind of expected to have more of sort of warning of like easing into it, but they kind of just went like really quickly and um, to the point where I was like gasping in pain and it was, um, I can't say it was an enjoyable experience that I would uh, recommend for, you know, recreation, but um, I think it's worth giving it a shot because, you know, if it works, it's like they say, like 50-50 chance. If it works, then it's great. Um, but there's also a high chance that it won't work. In my case, they, they tried three different times from both directions, and um, she just didn't want to budge. Her head stayed put the whole time. Um, and so now there's some sort of red marks on my stomach from where they were pushing, and just a little bit of um, lingering soreness, but, you know, it wasn't too bad. The, the pain during it, I think, was almost just more surprising at the intensity. I, I don't know what I expected, but um, I was very glad that my husband was there. Um, he was, you know, just sort of holding my hand and rubbing my shoulder and just, you know, trying to keep me calm the whole way through, reminding me to breathe. Um, I think they only tried for just a few minutes really and then they decided she wasn't going to move and that it wasn't worth trying to you know force her to move if she didn't want to um and so they've gone ahead and they've scheduled me for a cesarean on my due date um so if we, I go into labor sooner than that and she hasn't turned head down by then um then they would do a there's like a step an unplanned cesarean I think is the the term um, it's not emergency like, I would still get to be awake and stuff. Um, but if, yeah, if she turns head down before my due date, then that's great too, and we would be able to labor naturally. Um, but if she doesn't, and she stays breached the whole time, then I, at least I know that I won't go past my due date and have to worry about that agony of waiting, which I've heard is just very frustrating. Um, yeah, so that's... That is my ECV experience. Um, it uh, watching the videos doesn't prepare you for how it's gonna feel. Like the moms never seem to be complaining in those videos, but um, yeah, it's not it's not a pleasant experience. Um, yeah, I I think I'm. I before today I felt pretty confident that I was like at peace with the hypothetical of a cesarean, but now I'm realizing I'm not necessarily 100% there with the prospect of it being real, um, but I'm working on it and I know that I'm glad that I have like almost four full weeks to come to terms with it. Um, it's kind of nice knowing that, you know, worst case scenario, or not worst case scenario, but like the longest I will go is, is to my due date, and then, um, yeah, I can be kind of a little bit prepared, and you know, you all know how I like to be a little bit prepared for things. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have to say. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope this was useful for some of you if you're, you know, in the same position. Anyone um, who maybe found this video from other means, um, welcome. I mostly do planner stuff, but I am, you know, going to be doing some baby stuff with my baby coming. So, um, please do feel free to subscribe if you're interested. I am trying to get to my thousand subscribers and, uh, I post videos three times a week, mostly planner stuff, like I said, and I will see you guys in the next one on Tuesday. Bye.